Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode. In this episode, we will see how to customize or edit default checkout page and how to remove some extra field of our default checkout page like last name, company name, then street, uh, apartment, postal code, email, etc. So we will remove those field either permanently or disable those field temporary. And also we will keep those field like uh, first name, then street, then state and email. So we will keep those field and others uh, field will be removed permanently or disable temporary. So let's see how to do it. At first go to your dashboard and then go to the plugins and click add new plugins. And then search the plugin name checkout field editor. We can see there are many plugins related to checkout field editor, but we will use this plugin checkout field editor for WooCommerce by Theme High. It's a uh, updated. Uh, it is updated two months ago and also it's compatible with our current WordPress version. So uh, let's uh, install now. After install, activate this plugin. After activate this plugin, you will see a new option under the WooCommerce name checkout field. Just click on checkout to checkout forum. And then you will see all the field of checkout page. Just uh, you can either remove any field permanently or also you can disable any field temporary. So before uh, remove or disable any field, we have to create our page, checkout page. So just go to the checkout page. And then we can see it's a default checkout page when we install WooCommerce plugin, WooCommerce uh, automatically created this checkout page. So we will remove this uh, checkout page and create our own checkout page. Just click on trash. Okay, then uh, click on add new page. And then enter the interface title. Okay, we copy and then paste here. Okay, then also we have to add a short code name WooCommerce Checkout. We have to add this. We must add this uh, short code. So the now click on publish button. Okay, now reload the page again. Okay, now go to the checkout forum. For example, we will remove last name and company name. Just go to the checkout field editor plugin option and then select billing last name and then billing company and then click on disable. You can either disable or remove those two fields. So I just uh, disable those field temporarily and then click save changes button. Okay, now go to the checkout page and reload the page. We can see our two field, last name and company name is removed. Now we will remove a uh, postal code. Also, just go to the uh, checkout field and then select postal code. Where is postal code? Here is a postal code, select the postal code and also we will remove apartment, select apartment. Okay, just click disable and then click on set changes button. Okay, now reload the checkout page again. We can see all the default uh, field is, uh, is banished or now we will expand this first name field. So let's say how to do it. At first, uh, click on billing first name edit option and then add white in the class. So just click on save and close. 
okay then click on save changes we just edit this first first name and add our own class okay now reload the uh, checkout page again we can see our first name field is expanded now we will uh, add a uh, customer phone number field so that any uh, anyone or any customer can add their phone number okay go to the checkout field and then click on add field and select phone number as a type and then type phone and then enter level customer phone number okay you can also add placeholder uh we i i'm not uh, placing any placeholder just uh, i remove the require option uh, you can also enable require option but uh, i will not uh, enable this okay just click on save and close and then set changes okay now go to the checkout pass and reload the page again we can see there is no uh, phone number field and uh, now reload the page and then we can see a phone number field is here so uh, if we uh, if we uh, do require this field just go to the go to the checkout page uh, checkout field editor and then edit and then check require option okay save and close okay now set changes okay i can now reload the checkout field okay we can see phone number field is required so that's how you can customize or edit your default checkout page according to your needs by using this plugin so that's it guys i hope you like this video if you like this video then subscribe to my channel see you in next video thank you everyone for watching this tutorial